Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Cognizant and if you have questions like what is the real questions, what are the real questions they are asking in these days in Cognizant and what are the uh, cutoff for SQL and what's the impact of SQL in total selection process. If you want to know all of these then this video is for you. So just before that guys, please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and especially watch the playlist of Cognizant, it will be very much helpful for you. We have been uploading the questions from aptitude round, communication round to interview preparation. So please, uh, please follow the playlist, it will be very much helpful. Okay. Hey, you for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so at first let me discuss so total two sql queries will be asked to you now you have to know that java uh, c serve or python have the weightage of total uh, like 20% weightage overall 100 okay out of 100 in total selection process total selection process out of 100 20% impact of java c sharp or python then 10% from sql okay and 10% from communication assessment and 10% from your aptitude round okay so 50 and 10% from your technical ability okay uh, and technical ability and 20 uh, i mean rest of the part is from interview almost 40 percent okay so this is the thing you have to understand okay so 10 percent impact is not also very lesser whenever the interviewer hr takes your interview and they give a marks let's say out of 25 if their cutoff is 20 and if you are not solving sql queries you got 19 then also this one marks matters right so sql queries has a lot of impact on your selection process so don't miss this video so i hope you will not miss so let me share the real questions they have asked recently so this is the question actually this table i think probably not fully visible so i have written already the code i mean the table so the table is shown to your screen okay regarding train right so you can see these are the tables train details tables okay trains details table and train station table and train type table so here are the attribute names provided and their type of uh, data types are also available you can see they are uh, one to one relationship they are in many to one relationships as well so let me just discuss the question the question was this you have to select the train id and name only these two columns you have to populate in the uh, queries okay the train id and the name of all trains that have a name starting with the alphabet m and that go to the station with name pune okay the destination station is pune and starting with m then the train name starting with m and destination station is pune you have to write the code now what are the information available for us we have the information of all the train details okay so we have to mainly print which columns that is train id and train name these two columns are enough but we have to know about the destination right so here train 2 is also available so i think we don't need uh, to join any table because we only need these columns train id and train name which actually runs up to pune so we can handle this code in using one table as well okay so just we have to use one like operator so let me discuss that let's so we have to select that train id and train name okay from which table from train details okay from this table we are fetching and when we are fetching when the trains uh, train name starting with 
Mumbai. When we have to use like operator, like operator m mod. Okay, this m mod means the name starting with m and ending with anything. Okay, so the name starting with m and ending with anything, and also where the trains train to is equal to Pune. Okay. So I hope you understood. So this is the thing you have to write in the uh, compiler. So let me just write the code guys for you once. So let me just write that code in compiler. It will be better to understand. So this is the code actually. Select t dot train id t dot train name. So t is the alias name of the table train details table. Okay. So select t dot train id. So we are fetching the train id from train details table and train name also from train details table okay where t dot train name train name like operator we have to use like operator m mod m mod that means starting with m ending with anything and there is two conditions there are two conditions that is one is name starting with m and the train goes up to pune destination station is pune and t dot train two is equal to pune already the train two uh, columns are also available here we are just using that column train two okay i hope you understood actually we had we can join tables like train details table and train station table we can join this table but still uh, with one table only we can solve the problem like uh, how to join these tables let's say t dot train two is equal to we can select this table select train station table we can write sub queries actually i mean to say you that we can use a sub query instead of writing pune we could have write uh, uh, written here select this tab uh, select station name okay station name from train details table train station table okay where station name is equal to pune so these things we could have written but still using one table only we can solve then why we are why would we write two tables so this is the answer you can get train id 101 102 104 107 where only the train name starts with mumbai uh starts with m you can see total four trains are available which has the name starting with m and the destination is uh destination is pune okay so m m both are at pune okay both are going up to pune mango express also up to pune and monsoon express also up to pune okay i hope you understood so if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment section so i'll try to assist you and if you want to get all the recent questions with answers all the previous questions and in one go if you want all the bundle questions then please refer the prime materials of cognizant in which you will get all the latest aptitude questions with answers previous year dotnet java python coding questions sql html css javascript questions with answers communication assessment mock test interview experience everything you need all the things are included here in front of your 6.5 lpa job 89 is nothing for you so please go through the link given in the description box or in the comment section it will be very much helpful for you okay okay so the next question is on to your screen so the schema is this you have to see uh total six schemas is six uh, tables are provided to you and this is the question that is you have to print the employee id type of leave and total number of leaves for employees who have taken more than 10 leaves where the leave type is either casual leave or medical leave okay so you have to print this now how to write the queries so these are the tables provided to you sometimes they provide you number more than expected tables to confuse you okay mainly there can be only two or three tables which will be useful for you you have to use only those apart from those most of them are useless okay so like this there is a 
there are total three tables i think useful for these queries allocated fearer info then employee info and find jumps info there are total four uh, total three tables which will be useful in this case okay so what are the task that is you have to print the employee id you have to print the total leave and type of leaves right employee id type of leave and total leaves you have to print let me write the code you can see here uh employee id employee infos are provided to you uh find jumps info here you can see employee id e001 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 have taken the leave multiple times so total number of leaves 6 plus 6 plus 5 so it is uh 12 plus 5 17 leaves have been taken only by employee one okay employee four have taken 16 plus 5 total 31 uh, sorry 21 leaves so you have to group this group by employee id right you have to group this by employee id and you will get the total leaves taken by individual employee okay okay also you have to uh, group by leave type as well to get the total leave in a particular leave type let's say employee one have taken the leave casual leave here once and here also casual here also taken the casual leave so twice total 5 plus 6 total 11 casual leave and total 6 uh, total 6 medical leave right so according to the leave type as well you have to uh, you have to group all of them okay uh, let me just write the code in the compiler it will be very helpful to understand so at first we have to select the employee id and the leave type and the total leaves okay we have to use the aggregate method sum total leaves and we can give the alias name as total leaves okay from which table find jumps info so the table name is provided here you can see okay now from uh, where this is the conditions we have to match where leave type only in cl and ml casual leave or uh, medical leave among these only you can get okay otherwise you cannot select group by so there are multiple um, uh, uh, there are employees who have taken the leaves multiple times right so we have to group by the employee id and there are uh, multiple types of leave they have been taken okay so that's why we have to group by the leave type and employee id okay having the sum of sum of total leaves greater than 10 okay and you can order by also you can ignore this okay nothing else so just let me write this code you can see employee one has taken total 11 leaves casual leave employee two has taken total casual leave 15 employee three total uh, medical leave 20 employee 4 total medical leave 16 so this way it will print okay i hope you understood so if you understood then it is fine if you have not understood then please leave a comment that you could not understand then i'll again explain okay now i'm sharing one quiz question to you this is the quiz question to you the uh, same uh, schema is provided to you and the question is now a little bit advanced the id the name department name basic salary of employees working in the hr department you have to just print and very honestly this is very easy questions just you have to implement one in a joint i'm not going to solve because i have to check how much attentively you are watching so please keep the answer in the comment section guys it will be very much uh, motivating for me because i want to see how much uh, guys are you enthusiastic in the content enthusiastic to learn more okay so please keep the answer in the comment section still if you have uh, very less time if you want to prepare within very few days if you have very less time if you want to prepare within few hours then please refer the prime materials it will be very much helpful for you and still Accenture, TCS, LT Mindry, Capgemini and many more companies are hiring in these days. So if you want the materials of, uh, for those then please also refer to these. Okay, the link is given in the description box or in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful for you. Okay, 